We just went through security, had to show our COVID certificate, and open our bags, of course. And now we are going into the Eiffel Tower complex. Who's Gustav Eiffel? He's the one who built the Eiffel Tower. And he built a small apartment at the top of the tower where he hosted prestigious guests during small private receptions. Look, there's a lady over there. Yeah. What do you think about being on top of the Eiffel Tower? It's a little scary, but way cool. Way cool. Look at all these beautiful lights out there. Oh, the light show! Girls, where did you make it? We made it to the top! The top of and what? The top of the Eiffel Tower. Was it cool? Yeah, but I was scared at the bottom and then I was fine at the top. But now you're having fun, right? And Emma, did you like it? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go down to explore the lower level. Daddy's in there waiting for us. Champagne at the top of the Eiffel Tower is a good call. And so is beer at the shop top. It costs a pretty decent amount, but no big deal. We're at sitting on the Eiffel Tower having a drink. It is perfect. The girls had macarons. Don't worry, we fed them too. With jelly inside. Olivia had jelly inside. Was it good? I had chocolate ice cream. Ooh, yeah. Sunday and the sun is out and here's a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower exactly and we're going on a walking tour. We are currently going to meet our tour guide for a kid-friendly walking tour of Paris and we are going by the beautiful Notre Dame that is being restored from the fire in 2019. And the gargles on the outside are said to keep out the bad luck. And we definitely need to go home and watch The Hunchback of Notre Dame after this. This is the oldest tree in Paris and it is 400 years old. This is one of the oldest churches in Paris, and during the uh, revolution, it was made into a salt mine to help the revolution. Paris is divided into two. The river is called the Seine, dividing the city in two parts. The left bank and the right bank. Right now, we are in the left bank of Paris. So uh, this specific area is called Latin Quarter. Our wonderful tour guide just told us that these are some of the only Roman ruins left in Paris. Um, at one point, there was, this is a this was Roman baths, which had the cold water, the warm water, and then the really hot water. And she also told us that the Romans fought the Parisi people, and this is why Paris is called Paris because they won and um, that's why there's not very many Roman ruins because they got rid of them all. And the girls are enjoying a nice playground. And this is our wonderful tour guide, Gelsamina, <laughs> with With Locals. This is the Pantheon, which is originally a church. 
and now it is a national monument. So we are currently in the Luxembourg Gardens and this was started by an Italian queen who married a French, the French king and her name was Catherine de Medici and she decided that she didn't want to live in the Louvre because it was just so big so she wanted to raise her son in a smaller palace so they built the palace which is right over here and she wanted green space for her son so she built the gardens around. So beautiful. And there is a giant fountain in the middle with some beautiful flowers. They rent out this boat and they, you know, with the feet, they try to. That's so guide cool. Them. And you see how big they are? The Look at that. So they have statues of all of the 20 queens of Paris surrounding the park. There's one up here. This is the main fountain of the park, Fountain de Medici, and it is really pretty. We are at the Saint Germain Church, which is one of the oldest churches uh, in Paris. We saw the other oldest church in Paris as well. There's so much charm in Paris. actually had two day tickets to the tube bus so we got on it today because we had about an hour and a half to kill and figured why not sit on the bus and kind of relax while going around the city so we're trying it again today's experience hasn't been as great we had to wait a half an hour uh, for the bus which kind of stunk because you know time is precious but we're on it now and it's a beautiful day and we're enjoying some beautiful views don't worry we didn't leave Yeti in the hotel room he's with us he's actually really enjoying when the wind blows Yeti how you doing buddy there he is. Traveling with dogs and kiddos. Now we're in the place de Concord. And there's the giant obelisk again. These are the ruins that we went by with our walking tour earlier today. 